So hello guys, welcome to the Cypress and Reporting section. This one will be pretty short because implementing Mocha Awesome Reporter is very easy to do. Again, let's create an empty project. I have created a Cypress Reporting directory, but feel free to use any existing project from the course or your own. It doesn't matter because it doesn't need to be a new project. But to keep it all separated, I'm gonna create an empty new one. So let's type npm in it. This one will create our package JSON. And now we need to install two dependencies, Cypress and Mocha Awesome. So let's do it. And hit enter. Now we need to wait a little bit until everything is downloaded and installed for us. Again, it might take some time. It really depends on your internet connection. And as you can see, Cypress is already downloading. And we are almost there. Okay, feel free to skip this uh, waiting time to the end when everything is installed and ready. And now we are finished. And now let's open Cypress. So mpx Cypress open. And this will prepare for us the folders and directories containing Cypress. And also it will open the test reporter. Oh, sorry, test runner. And that's it. Now let's close it. And as you can see, we have all the directories and files here. And I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna delete advanced examples. And I'm just gonna keep the integration getting started. So it's not that messy at the end. And now we need to specify the Mocha Awesome Reporter options. And to do it, let's go to the Cypress JSON. And here we need to specify what kind of reporter we want to use. So reporter, and in our case, it's called Mocha. Awesome. Make sure you have the spelling correctly. And now we need to specify the options for the reporter. So type reporter options. And here we need to specify a few things. First is report directory. like this and let's name it for example cypress slash report next we have override and let's set it to false or you know what let's set it to true it's actually better but you can set it to false and basically this one means it will always override the existing reports with the new one and it will not keep stacking the reports one by one. So this one will always keep the latest which were run with your Cypress tests. And if you set it to false, it will keep adding new and new reports in your directory and it will not remove them. And next we need to specify HTML and set it to true and JSON. And here you can choose true or false. Again, if you want to keep your reports in HTML and JSON format, you can set it here. And the setting part is pretty much done. And now we can run the test. And to run the test, we need to call mpx cypress run with a flag of reporter. And the name is mocha awesome and hit enter. And Cypress is now running our tests in headless mode.
And as you can see, first test is running. All the tests have passed. And as you can see, if you scroll a little bit up, you can see that the report has been saved. So if you look here, we have a report. And as you can see, we have a report in the HTML format. But this one didn't look pretty awesome in the Visual Studio Code and we need to open it inside the web browser. So let's do it now. And I'm gonna use a live server extension to do VS Code. So I'm gonna open it with live server. And if I'm gonna show the results here from my browser, which I have on the second window. So let me just move it here. Then you can see that our test has been here using a mocha or some reporter. You can click and you can see the tile of the test. You can see how many of them passed, how long does it take, and how does it long it take for each individual test. And that's pretty much it. Now you can add as many tests as you want and you can run them. And if you use the command report to mocha awesome, it will always generate this nice, beautiful report, which you can later use or open in web browser, or you can present it to your management. So I think that's it. This is pretty much everything. There is nothing more you need to do to enable reporting. So try to take it or create your own project using this reporting to make sure you understand it correctly. And I'm going to see you in the next section.